swagger fun. It's a swagger fun. We've been spending. Spending on the swag. Pebble Beach swag. We want you in the comments down below. We've got two bags of swag. We both had the same amount that we weren't allowed to go over. A hundred dollars yeah. of Pebble Beach merch. In the comments down below, who's got the best swag? It's a swag of fun. Right, we got two bags down here. Who's first? So let's go with you. Go on then, you so pull I, something out. I'm gonna pull I'll something out, I'm gonna out. dig deep. Ooh. Ooh, what have I got here? Ooh, wrapped. Oh, it's wrapped. So let's unwrap this, shall we? Oh, what have you got there? Oh, my word. Now Look this, at that. this is for my fantastic wife. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is for Shona. Yeah. That's for you, Shona. Because little mug for tea. If that doesn't come back, there's telling offs. Is there? Okay, so what are we doing then? Are we going to talk about prices on all of these, or are we just saying what we thought? Well, I was under a hundred dollars. I was like ninety something dollars, so yeah. I'm under. Were you? What were you? What did you spend? So I originally I spent eighty, and then I had to nip back in and buy something else for your wife. Yeah. Right, but so I'm about. I'm just under. I'm also just under. Hundred dollars. So you try. Have you shown now? Have you shown now in its full glory? So it's quite a large. Oh, look, look at what it's got in there. Inside. That is. I mean, that is a properly nice mug, it's isn't a, it? And it's a nice, big, handsome mug. Yeah. Like, you get a good mug of tea in there. I don't drink tea, but like. That's a proper. When I'm told to do tea, if there ain't the right amount, I get properly told off. Yeah. That I would say, from an English point of view, British point of view. That is two cups of tea. There you go. Yeah, that's a good cup and a half to two yeah, cups. Yeah, I like that. That's so, I, I saw those and yeah, I like that. So you pull out something that com competes with that. Yeah, so what competes with that? Let's just pop that down there for a minute. Right, what have I got in here? Right, what competes with that? Look oh. what I got. <laughs> oh, this is an egg cover. So that I, competes with that, does it? Yeah, I think it does, because that's gonna... Who's that for? That's for me. <laughs> Is that one up to you? You've got to be one up. You've bought I, yourself I, an egg cover. I bought myself a head cover, yeah. Basically. That's going to travel with me wherever we go. Yeah. On my me, hybrid. Me, me. <laughs> On my hybrid. Thank you very much. <laughs> put your, a, put your comments it, down below. Which one would you prefer? Until it falls off. Right, round two. Round two. What's in my swag bag? Okay. Okay, in Mark's bag, we have next up. Oh! Now, we this is have. a classic for me, so this is going to be framed. This and I'm just going to pull down my best photo that I took today. Okay. Um, and that's going in my office with my open flag and my um, master's flag. And I'm hoping whoever wins the US Open there this year, I can get close to somehow. Somehow. So if it's a European tour player, I'll see them on a range at some point. Okay, I'll signed. take that to them. And, or if it's someone who plays Callaway or something, or even Titleist, whatever, I can give it to the people I know plays Mizuno, whatever, and they can give it to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice touch. So I'm hoping someone I can get close to. And even if they don't, like, we got Matt got Sergio to sign his one. Yeah. We saw him at, a, at the Portugal Masters. He went after him in the Pro-Am with it and said, look, can sign it? Yeah. He was more than happy to do it. Um, so I, I reckon if you get someone like Justin Rose, I'll bump into Justin on some tournament at some point. Yeah. Give that a sign, Justin, even though like, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he likes that. Um, well... What have you got to compete I've got oh, the same thing. But you've not got the... Like, what are you going to do with that? That's going in the studio. In a frame? So I thought I'd frame it yeah. and put it in the studio. Now, I don't get as close to these players like you. But I can get it signed But you, I thought that Mark might just help me out and get Justin to sign it when he wins it. If he wins it, yeah. <laughs> the other thing you could do is you could, you've got your scorecard. You could put your scorecard underneath it. it yeah, I could nice. do that, yeah. And, and like you said, a nice photo. And I've got an open one in my you in the studio, the which was um, Louis Oosterhausen. He, um, when he won the open back in 2010 yeah. at St Andrews. I still need to get that signed though. 
but I don't know anyone ping, that kind of gets... Ping, he's ping. I could get that to someone at ping and I could just leave it on a tall truck and then pick it up. Yeah, I'm that sure would be nice. Let me... So let's sort I Louis out, do. yeah. Um, um, so that's one all with that. I guess that is, yeah. Like tied on that particular yeah, round. I'm one up still. Post in the comments. Comments down below. Who's am I still one is up? My, well, who's has got the what the reason? I would say it's the reasoning behind the flag, but they're pretty yeah, the much other the same. Thing you could do, the other thing you could do is you could get a scorecard and then put Tiger's score in for the last round. Just fill it in yourself. Yeah. Right, you know, ride it out as neat as you can, like they do for the US Open. Yeah. And then put a picture of him in there. Would be nice. Yeah, you know, that would just be a nice Frame. homage yeah. to Tiger winning in 2000, which was one of the most impressive wins. People do say. Yeah. I like that. You know, I could have just given you a one-up gift there with that idea. Oh yeah. You know? That's All right, well, I'm, I'm going to go to round three now. Let's go. Let's have a look. Right, Mark's bag now. I'm digging deep. Digging deep. Oh. Now this is for the office and for me. So this is for you. And I will put it on for you. So if you just, if you, if you shake the camera away, whip it away. Oh. And let, what you have see you done what there? I've done there? You have. Like I just yeah. put it on in the shop. It fits nice. It's a nice fit. It's a nice colour, nice shape. Yeah. It's That's subtle. Char it's charcoal, isn't it? Yeah, I think and so. And it's tonal logoed at the front. It's subtle. Yeah, like that. Uh, I feel like I can pull this off, you know? Yeah. I won't do it, because I am dry. Oh, and, it, and it's got on the back a little American flag. Did you spot that? Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice touch. One of my favourite countries in the world. Yeah. I like the old American flag. I'm always proud that they let me in each time they go. Yeah. <laughs> America. I do love you. It was actually the UK that wouldn't let us leave at yeah. one stage. So that's a personal gift. For yourself. But I'm be I feel I can wear this in a daily vlog at home just to remind people that I've been to Pebble Beach. Yeah. Oh, God, that's embarrassing. So, okay. Uh, let me just look at what I've got up against that, shall we? Pick the swag out. What have I got in here? Smart. What am I going to put up against that? Well. What's that? I bought. Pebble Beach Sharp. A Pebble Beach Sharpie. Oh, just in case you want to do some drawing on this eight hour drive. So, so this is. <laughs> Did you get, like, get you a bit of paper? Did you take one of the kids' menus from the Tup Tup shop or wherever we were in our I mean, break? So, well, I've, again, I just. You see, I don't want to leave all my stuff in my office or in the studio. I want it no, to yeah. travel with me. So, yeah, I got I myself that. a nice Sharpie. Just so I, just every time I mark up my golf ball, you it reminds pull, yeah, me of our day out. I like our oh, day out, Danny boy. Yeah. And if you're really clever, you make sure your mates, competitors, yeah. you know, your Devon pros are near and you pull it out and go, oh, oh what have I got there? That what's they that? Go, what's that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, now it's just Pebble Beach. Yeah. God, you've been there. Oh, don't. So I, I actually think and a I lot have, of guys will like that. Like I don't know who's won that round. I need the comments to tell me. Yeah. Because I like that. This is more personal. I think they'll relate to that more. There'll be people who won't wear hats, wouldn't wear a Pebble Beach hat. Yeah. So they won't relate to this. I think you might win that. But I think if you were to be a neutral, I reckon my hat wins. Mm, <laughs> I'm digging into the into the bags again. <laughs> Give me a neutral. <laughs> <laughs> right, next round. next round, let me have a little look, what have we got in here? So... Well, you've I got... any more? You've got no more. No, because that's my spend. So that's... that is, um, Mark's spend. I'm happy with that. That was 90-something dollars. That's good then, isn't it? I'm happy, so I've got studio, studio thing, and thing that sits in the kitchen, shown as it, and I see it every day. So the thing I like about having stuff in my studio is, I, or in my office, it's home. My office yeah. Is home. So it's like, it's like when people come in, like when like builder comes in, or like you know, the electrician comes in. If they play golf, they go in there and they love it. They're like, oh, look at that, like because it's just a den of stuff that I'm collecting. And I do that bag. That bag is like it's it's a good like we didn't even get charged five p for that bag. No. So what if have you got another thing? Yeah, so, because I obviously went, I was trying to manage my budget so you with feel, little you, things. Do so you think buying more is better? Sometimes. Uh, what else have I got in it? Hang on. Sharpie was a good idea. You like that? Hang on, I've got something oh, else. Oh, I've got here. another one. 
actually in my pocket, so I'll... Hang on then. No, no, you bring it. If you must right. have one left. No, I've got two left. Right. So, I've got a Pebble Beach ball marker. I don't like chips. I've, I've seen you eat lots of chips. You I do like I chips. I don't like. I like those in Vegas. You don't like. Yeah, you're going to see them. Yeah, yeah. But I don't like. I just think they feel and look a bit naff. Sorry. Well, I wouldn't buy that. Okay. I don't, they're too common. Okay, but what I've got in my a nice metal one, I'd have bought it in my little office yeah. at, at work you in the, the top drawer of my desk. office. I've got a few little poker chip ones that it's like. It's a bit like my happy place. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a bad day, just open, just open the drawer and look oh. at all the nice oh. golf courses that we've played and poker chips or chips or, or ball markers. So anyway, that pretty much that was... Um, and I, the other reason I put that back, because I had that in my hand. Did they you? Had a, a wooden one. Did you see the wooden one? I ones? saw the wooden one, yeah. And I had that in my hand and she said, oh, you get a ball marker and a bag tag at the end. Okay. So and I thought, all right, well, I'll put them back, wait what they're like. And then we didn't get them at the end. Yeah. I think no, we just didn't. ran off. Yeah. Um, we're a bit on that social Well, we got in the, we knew we had an eight hour drive. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, I get that for you though, but I just, yeah. think, you put it in nice plastic like that, but still, there's the chip, it feels a bit cheap. Yeah, okay, well then, I also then, hang on, got, where is it? Where are you? So I got one of these. What's that? It's actually a, a, a fridge magnet. Oh, I didn't see them. That's, That's a win. That because we that do we We've do collect my, yeah. fridge magnets around the world where we travel. The kids and stuff love it. Yeah. Um, and so every time you go in the fridge, which is for milk and stuff, every yeah. day almost you just go. Because oh, I've oh. got Masters one. We've got yeah. New York ones on our fridge. Yeah. I didn't see that. I would have got that. Yeah. So that's I thought. A win for you. I thought that was a nice touch. That, that's really good. I like it because it's everyone can enjoy that. Yeah, the kids will love that. They like picking it up, and put it so back this, on the this fridge. This is my other thing I got. Just yeah. to try and compete with those last two. I stole the pen from the waitress. Did you? Well, they asked me to sign. Now that you sign in this country, you got. It. She gave you that one, though, didn't she? Yeah, but I politely asked. You stole it. They left that one, <laughs> one for me to sign. No, all right, I like that pen. Thanks. Like, so that's a tie again, then, isn't it? So, so we're all square. Post in the comments who won the swag off. That was fun. That was good fun. We were both running around that shop, hiding oh, it from each other. Yeah, that was good that fun. That was good fun. Look at this road. Show them the road, Dan. Look at it. That is, well, off we've, we got, go. we've got another 90 miles on this particular road. We've got another 470 miles before we get a destination. Vegas, baby. But Vegas is just somewhere down there. Way. Is it over that way? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go over the hills. <laughs>